Hey everybody, uh, so I'm coming to you uh, today from Tempe, Arizona. I'm on ASU's campus. For those of you who don't know, I'm a big USC Trojans fan, class of 2008, go Trojans, uh, and they're also in the Pac-12, of course, with ASU. And I, I, I've been thinking about the Pac-12 lately because of their complete mismanagement of, uh, of the whole football season. So for those of you who don't know, they canceled the season back, I think it was in August, it might have been July. They canceled the season because of coronavirus. And then on September 3rd, they partnered up uh, with some science companies to do daily coronavirus testing, which is great news, right? So you could test the players every single day and especially before game day, um, you know, when you're traveling, going to see, a, going in a different city, playing against a different team, uh, you'd be able to do daily testing, make sure no one had it. And if they did, you know, they'd be quarantined quarantined um, and, and you know would obviously miss the games and miss the practices so that was great news on September 3rd here's the problem that the Pac-12 uh, did though or, or what they didn't do is they didn't put a plan in place once they made that agreement to do the daily testing they didn't put a plan in place to get the season going again and they really they didn't talk to local officials about it either in Oregon or in California they didn't talk to the teams and so what we've seen the last couple weeks is a lot of frustrations among the coaches uh, uh, and among the fans and among the athletic directors because there wasn't a plan in place set by the conference now um, and the only time they really got going in terms of oopsie big fly uh, the only time they really got going in, in terms of getting the season going again was after the Big Ten decided to start playing football again and that was kind of the impromptu um, let's put a plan in place for the Pac-12 to play football after another conference already did it. That's not acceptable, it's not good enough. Um, and But here's what it means for your finances and especially what it means for your retirement. As you get closer to retirement, you've gotta have a plan in place. You can't be like the Pac-12 and not have a plan and just willy-nilly um, just see what happens. No, 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 no. You have to have a concrete plan in place, crossing all the T's, dotting every I, getting every aspect of your financial life in order so that you can finally call it quits and live your dream retirement for the next 30 to 40 years without running out of money, without worrying about have to, having to go back to work. Who wants to go back to work after you already retire once? Okay, so you have to have a plan in place. Now you might be asking, well, Scott, where in the world do I figure out what I need to do before I retire? Well, guess what? I've got you covered, okay? I wrote a book over the summer. It's called 65 Questions to Ask Before, excuse me, 65 Questions to Ask and answer, that's the key part, you gotta answer these questions before you retire, okay? And so I go over Social Security, I go over health insurance and Medicare, um, tax planning, what you need to do five to 10 years before you retire, uh, what you need to consider for your retirement lifestyle, estate planning, uh, did I already mention tax planning? So I go over every, the 65 most important questions you need to answer in order to have a solid retirement plan in place. You can't be like the Pac-12 and just not have a plan and just hope it all goes uh, well. That's not, that's, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around with your retirement like that, which again is why you need to pick up my book, 65 Questions to Ask and Answer Before You Retire. You can get it for $4.99 on Amazon, it's a steal, or I'll even give it to you for free in the link down below. Either way, the main thing is ask yourself these questions, answer these questions, and get a solid retirement plan in place before you retire.